Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Cyberlab, and the subject for this video is I turn off my last server. Le let's put a little bit more clear. No, no, I didn't turn off all the servers in my house. I turned off my last computer server. In this video, I will explain why I get this decision. Also, if it's worth for you or it's interesting for you to do some similar switch or it's worth for you to turn off your last computer server. So if you like this idea and want to learn or listen a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel if you're not yet subscribed, of course, and let's see how we can explain a little bit more about it. Okay, before I start to explain why I turned off my last server, I'll explain how I start. More or less, 2015, I get an uh, uh, old computer. In that time, it was not old, it was quite new. It was released one year before the CPU, so it was i5 4590. Until now, I have this computer. It's the only one that I keep in home properly as a server and work 20 by 7 since 2015, never have any problem, just over seven years. And in that time, I get some uh, hard drives for one terabyte, was not new. I did RAID 5, I started to use it, I started to install Debian, only work with SNB, and this SNB was only to keep all my data in one place. Because I always want to keep everything in one place. Sometimes I'm using a computer, <coughs> sometimes I use a desktop, sometimes I'm using anything, and I don't want to need to copy all my data for one place and pass in another place. And always I don't feel safe only to keep in my laptop, only to keep in my desktop. I always like the idea to have everything in one place. This reason that I start to do this is small server. After a while I discover OpenMediaVal. In that time OpenMediaVal was revision 4, where it's work with uh, a real old style of template. Now we, with OpenMediaVal 6, the visual of the application is really better. It's more, the interface work better. It's everything is much better than before. But in that time, it worked quite well. And then I discovered how to do some Docker containers, how to use uh, those Dockers to make application that I really like it. And I really like the idea to create a application, a container, install it, and make it work for your needs. And you have a thousands, millions of uh, containers that you can use. If you want to use a VPN, you can use a container for it. If you want to manage your pictures, you can use a container for it. If you want to manage your videos, you can have a container as well for it. If you want to do anything that you imagine, you have a different container. And they work really well. And then I decided to increase my server, so I get a little bit better and a better. Service that have uh, 700 watts power supply, two of them for redundancy. SAS drive work in a bridge with uh, uh, high speeds and everything work really well. But then it started the price of electricity go up. And that I start to say, how can I just find to have this strong application if I don't use 100%? And then I get rid of one, I get rid of the other one, I sell another one, and I stay only with two computer servers. And those computer servers, one of those, it's only as a backup to hold it. And the second one was on until now. And this one worked really great. I replaced for four terabytes uh, WD-RED in 2018. And that after this one, I need to replace because get uh, fail one of those. Always remember when you do uh, four hard drives or five, six, try to buy in different dates of manufacture or at least uh, different periods because the chance that if one hard drive have a defect, all the hard drive have a defect and your date is compromised. If uh, you have different manufacturing dates, the chance that one hard drive fail and the rest will fail at the same time is really rare. So it's better to do this kind of things. But anyway, return here. It's worked great for me work really well until the electricity started to go in a peak that it's really crazy. The price cap is really high, now it's not worth anymore to run. Why it's not worth to run? What I did, I get one of those, I think that um, pretty much everyone know what is this one do. They measure power, they measure total of energy that they use. I live for one month and that I discovered that average of my server without so much load it's 8.4 watts 
and think the calculation it will cost around 350 pounds a year and how can I justify these 350 pounds a year ones that have others options that is cheaper and others were options that will work in a similar manner so what I decided to do this one I started to migrate all my servers and everything all my application those and pretty much all the application work really well without any problem without any issue only limitation it's the USB but I will not do raid on it I do merge FS and I do backup more often basically I can have two of those I can have one of those running 20 by 7 and a second one that's once a day or once a week they will open copy all my data with uh, rsync sync thing or any other application that I want to do a backup and turn off will keep on for one hour two hours update all my data that has been recorded for the other one and turn off I can have the third one I can have two of those running and what's the difference my server my computer they use average of 84 watts and if you guys know about this one this one is a power supply for a Raspberry Pi and if I look here they have a 5.1 volts at 2.5 amp you know what is this one it's average of 12.5 watts four times less power than a normal server and they work really similar matter because those server it's a four cores and a Raspberry Pi have a four core of course you need to invest in a good heatsink but what you can do you can have at least seven of those running to have the same power consumption as that two computer that is running so I can have those small ones for some applications and those it's a Pi Zero 2 and they have a quad core they work really well you can have a SD card to run if you don't want a SD card you don't feel stable good for it you can have a SSD run as a US those as well and either uh, either those as well it's a Pi Micro that you can have for some applications Raspberry Pi it starts to be great and great and great and work really well all the applications that you need to have in your computer you can have in these ones all the docker containers that you're gonna need to do or let's let's say almost all the docker containers that you want to run in your server computer server you can run in one of those and the few ones that you cannot run directly in Raspberry Pi you always have other options you have other staple of containers you can search others people or the developers that do the same applications and they will work really well in the same way of course let, let's consider I don't have all my data only in the Raspberry Pi I still have a knowledge in us I think that I show in one of the previous video where they have RAID RAID 5 because when I say all my pictures when I say all the important data I like to have a rate redundancy either that I do a backup every day or each two days I still have the idea that I needed to have a stable system Synology NAS work really well only for data nothing else in my opinion they don't work for so much docker containers because it's get uh, really have really easy you cannot upgrade your run memory really easy you can have maximum 80 gigabytes if you buy the proper Synology run memory and will cost a lot uh, they have a low consumption yes I do agree with it they have a, a really stable system for data but for the rest applications loss of money basically you're gonna spend lots of money for something that will not make any error in your data but you are gonna have a really low power system so you need to have a balance and I make my balance and my view Raspberry Pi will be all my applications my media management my Plex I run in Raspberry Pi only difference that I have my media exactly the same format that my TVs and my device support I don't have a 4k anymore I love to have 4k but I don't have 4k anymore 1080p work really well running all my applications they don't like they do directly stream and if I need to have my, more users you know what I do I get one more Raspberry Pi if I need to do more and more I can have at least seven Raspberry Pi instead of have one computer and that will have almost the same power 
as the computer. And always I can use uh, FTP and R clone to get all the data for one device to another one. I can use uh, NFS, I can use different options to have all the data sync between the computers. I can create a cluster with those. So Raspberry Pi is the way that I'm going. I don't say that it will be forever because I have two options. Or Raspberry Pi became really good that I never want to go back in a server computer because don't justify my investment. I don't justify uh, the energy that you use or I will go in the future when the price drop. I will go back for a proper server with uh, redundancy power supply with uh, 16 32 of course, 600, uh, uh, 64, 128 gigabytes of run, uh, a lots of hard drives working rate. Yes, maybe in the future we'll do. But at the moment with the price and everything that's going up, it's not worth and it's not a good investment for you. If you still want to run a server that have all that power, consider it because you need to justify what will go all that extra investment, all that extra energy, only to have some extra application run. So we arrive in the end of this video. I hope that you guys like this video and this style of video. If you guys like, please leave your comment. I can produce more of those style of video where I will explain what's the situation or what's my opinion or something instead of only I show how you can install something. Maybe I didn't move here. It would be really annoying. You look for my face all the time, but I will try to be better and better in this style if you guys like. If you don't like, please leave your comment. I will return only to do tutorials, how to do this, how to do that, how you can create something or how you can do whatever you want and according from the request. But I want to balance. I want to tell about something else and my opinion about things. So if you like this video and think that was interesting, so I hope that you think at least that it was interesting. Don't forget to leave a like, consider to subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.